Hello, and welcome back to Tokyo School Life. <clears throat> Last time I remember, well, some vacation. A lot happens during summer vacation. And on top of that, well, from as well as you can tell about our current save so far, <coughs> well, I actually did two saves, really. One was, um, as you can tell, Intermission 11 and Intermission 12, I was doing a chapter and my audio didn't go off, so I got to redo said chapter, which is right here, and therefore, there's going to be two episodes. One on Intermission 11 and another from uh, going into 12. So with that, could we possibly reach the end of the story? Well, let's find out as we get into today's exciting little episode. So we're going to skip through all this about the Union Park... And I decided not to read the, um, <clears throat> not to read through the, um, the intermissions because just a wrap up of what happened. The cicadas are buzzing. Summer's in full throttle. There's no breeze today, so it gets steadily hotter. Thankfully, the shrine is deep in the woods, so the shade makes it relatively cool. Whew. Ever since that day, I can't stop thinking about Sakura's smile. I want to get closer to Sakura. I want to talk with her. I want to hold her hand. Yeah, I, I've been here for a while. Sakura! Yeah, it's really hot outside. That's why I'm in here. Yeah, that's summer for you. Summer's just gonna be hot. Can't do anything about it. With Sakura right in front of me, I get nervous and my hands begin to sweat and my, my body temperature suddenly rises. <clears throat> that's usually the effect I have with my girlfriend. I never had trouble hanging out with girls like girls before this. I've had. When I was when, growing up, I had a problem with girls. Name? Like the title of manga. It's kind of like what you do with a book. It's like books aren't easily made. They have to be, you know, well drawn out, well thought out. And usually in the case of me making books, well, most times you really have to do something what is called a brainstorm. Or 
or if you're like her, she shows you what she does. Sakura opens her notebook as she speaks. In the notebook, there's a manga drawn in pencil. The panels are roughly laid out, and there are rough sketches drawn in. There's dialogue written in the speech bubbles, too. Oh, thank goodness I can talk about manga without getting nervous. Good thing I have a common interest with Sakura. Let's see here. I paced through the notebook, reading the name. The story is a derivative work of Samurai Maiden, just like she said before. <clears throat> it's set after Samurai rule has ended. European powers advance and Japan's exclusion of foreigners under the Edo Shogunate that has lasted 300 years is being withdrawn. It sounds like we're running Kenshin. And a bit of Way of the Samurai as well. The main character is a foreign civil official. As a member of, this, of a special delegation, he's involved in various negotiations with the Japanese shogunate, but he's actually a spy for the Navy. In case they have to engage in discussions under military power, his, missions, his mission is to get an accurate understanding of the shogunate's war potential. However, by chance, he finds out that a key figure of the Satsuma domain Saigo Takamoi is actually a girl. At the time, Japan was totally based on male lineage. It was unheard of for a female to succeed as the head of the family of as a samurai. Ginchō Tachibana, Lady Hayakawa. Yeah. Sound familiar? Taking advantage of this outrageous scandal, he planned to blackmail Saigo Chan for information on the government, but Saigo Chan refused to give in. Soon, the two of them fall in love. Is how the story goes. I peek at Sakura's face. If I give my honest opinion, would it hurt her feelings? Would it be better to just flatter her with compliments? I can say this as a as a writer. We take we take criticism. We take criticism from sometimes the most harsh people I've ever known. But it makes us into better writers. So a little criticism isn't too bad. However, you know, you're being brutally honest. If you're being brutally honest, I'm one person to say I'm, I can be brutally honest about something. If you want my opinion about something, okay, let me tell you. I find this good because A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I find this terrible because of A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And you have to be willing and, and open to accept these kind of comments. Because if somebody were to ask me, oh, hey, Izzy, could you read this and tell me what you think about it? I said, for one thing, I am going to be judging what you do. Not just because, oh, hey, this is a story, and, you know, I have to really look at it because not only am I a teacher, but I'm also a judge as well. So you have to look at things like that. Like, if the writing is too small, you have to point out, well look, if you're writing for somebody, if you're writing for a publishing company, you can't have writing like that. You can't have it so small. You gotta have it to where they can read it. You know, you have to, you know, you have to be very aware for the reader. Because not all readers same, read the same way. Some read with big print, some read with small print, but you have to be equal with every reader you come across. So yes, giving your honest opinion, that's a thing. But you have to kind of hold back when you need to and just lunge when you have to.
Are you sure? Really? Well, it is a prototype, so, you know, you're just working out all the kinks of it. I sometimes do that with my work, because mainly how I do my work is I write first, then I type it down and edit as I go along. If you insist, I won't hold back. First, I think that maybe the main character in Psycho Town fell in love too suddenly. In most series that I've seen, I've seen most, I've seen most series kind of fall apart when they get in, when they actually fall in love with each other too, too quickly and too suddenly. It's like, with most series that I watch, some characters have to be like, they have to walk into it very slowly, very carefully. They have to pace themselves every so often. And that's one thing you gotta do with love. You gotta pace yourself. You can't just say, Oh, I love you, I guess you don't want to be with you forever. You can't do that. You have to take your time with it. And I, and I should know, I've, I've written a book on, through previous relationships, I went through various relationships. And my problem was, just that. Falling in love too suddenly. And wanting to spend time together and everything, and you know, Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Depending on the day or depending on the feeling. You know, sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not there. Yeah, that that that, that does happen in reality a lot too. I hastily cut my throat. What does the main character like about Psycho Chun? <laughs> She's blunt. I like that. Then how about adding a specific scene to show it? For example, like this. I forget all about the heat and get absorbed in the debate. Yes, it is, yeah. Yes, it is. Sorry, all I did was read it and yet I'm saying whatever I want. Ichigo-san, that's called being a critic. You're supposed to do that. When you're reviewing something, you're supposed to criticize the good and the bad about it. You know, it makes, it makes a good series even better. When you tell what's bad about it first and then what's good about it second. Like soon I will do a Common Rider Black RX versus Ma Saban's Mass Rider video. I can't tell when, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be soon. And when I say when I say it's gonna be a versus, it's gonna be like a compare contrast. But in this case, I'm reviewing two shows at one time. But I'm telling what's good about it and what's bad about it. Bad being, bad being the first, good being the second. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad I harp throbs when I see Sakura smile. <sighs> I want to get closer to Sakura. I want to talk with her. Yes, we've established that, Ichigo. We've, we've established that. Uh, 
Yeah, sure. Of course, I'll help. Please let me help. I'm a better servant than I look. If we can draw a manga together, we can spend way more time together. I can talk a lot, too. If that's how it goes, then there's definitely... Then there should definitely be a chance when I can approach Sakura. I'm really so glad we have the same interests. Sometimes I compare myself to Harry Mason. Because he's a writer and I'm a writer. I do fancy he does romance. That's about it I know about Harry Mason. Thanks from Silent Hill and all that shit. So, starting the next day, we begin drawing a comic. You jelly cutting. Yes, dear. Sakura lays out all the drawing tools on the table. There's manga, paper, pen, screen tone. Being an author is somewhat of a lonely life. You're drawing on paper, huh? Isn't there software to draw manga on computers now? Mm. Oh, I see, I get what you mean. Now, I tried mentioning this on, on a previous recording, but on my failed recording that I didn't get no kind of um, audio feedback, I'm going to say it here. I'm sick and tired of computer animation. Kind of sick and tired of flash animation. Because they act so generic. And I want to point this out. That I like hand-drawn animation. I feel hand-drawn animation Actually, I'm sorry if I'm I'm sorry I'm pausing in between sentences. I'm watching I'm on TV as well. Um, I feel hand drawn animation is more down to earth than anything else. It has heart, you know. You could tell by the artist's work, you know, how it shows. You know how it shows in the art form. You know how things turn out within the animation you know it's like take an american tale watership down and i think the best the best best kind of drawing i guess a best kind of best kind of um example i could possibly give for anything else would be okami Take those three, take those three works, for example. The work shows, like I said, American Tale, anything by Don Blue, it, it, it shows, you know. It shows there's, you know, heart and soul being put into that, blood, sweat, and tears, and all that. You can see see how much time and effort has been put into, you know, the color, the animation, the backdrops and everything. Anything that Don Bluth actually made, really, you know, it shows. It shows how much has been put into it. Even, even Titan AE, even if it had computer graphics, even by a little bit, It still counts as, you know, 
more hand drawn was put into the work as well as, you know, computer graphics. I'm not saying that computer graphics is terrible, but I'm saying if you do something like, oh, it's 100% computer graphics, and they're not good computer graphics. Like I say, like I could say this, Reboot was probably the best show I've ever seen done through CG. And for its time, for its time, it was pretty good. You know, it, it wasn't terrible. And then you compare Reboot to Voltron, the third dimension. You got quality versus crap. And it's terrible. I've seen better animation done on a PS1 game. And that's saying a lot. And what I mean profusely would be the legacy of Kane game. I mean, they have CG, but at least the CG was a little bit better than, was a level better than Voltron the Third Dimension. So doing hand drawn, in a sense. Oh, oh, and Okami. The animation is just beautiful. It's just done like old style Japanese work. It's, it's just, it's just a thing, you know. And should I ever do a Kami Den, I will definitely do a Kami Den. I can't say when, but I will definitely do a Okami Den. But like I said, animation, I'm tired of flash animation because it looks too generic. I'm tired of CG animation because it it'll also looks too generic. But hand-drawn animation, you can't get rid of hand-drawn animation. As long as you have somebody who doesn't mind doing hand-drawn, you cannot get rid of basic animation. I mean, even, I'll say this, even Butch Harmon, even though there's a bit of flash, there's not so much flash, but there's more like hand-drawn being done. But I've seen, I've seen what he does on Nickelodeon sometimes. You know, I've seen like little shorts of what he mentions. Pretty good. But I mean, when it's done like, when it's done like over and over and over and over and over again, it gets really, really tiring to see that. Maybe because she's afraid I think she's a copycat, she looks down embarrassedly. The gesture's too cute, no fair. Next day. Sakura, I bought a cake. You want to take a break? At the cake shop near the station, I bought a, a slightly expensive, nice looking cake. It's a bit tough on the wallet, though. The sponge cake is gently soaked in liquor and topped with plenty of fresh seasonal fruits. It's so colorful, and I feel fancy just looking at it. The smell of black tea rises from the teapot. I slide my fork into the cake and on my plate and sink into the soft cake without, without resistance. That's a good cake. I actually like a good cake when it's, you know, really, really done. When it's really, really done. Yes. Sorry about that. As I was saying about cake. There's some cakes that are really good. And, um, you can tell. It's like, when you have some good cake. Oh, there's nothing like some good cake. Like my mom. Whenever, what she used to do, she doesn't do it, she doesn't do it anymore. But what she used to do was every time my birthday came around, I always asked for a cake. And she would make the cake. We would never go out and get a cake. She would make a cake for me. That's growing up, mind you. 
years later, as uh, you know, years later, I really, I really would like to make a cake, or I would, or I would love to buy a cake, a really good cake, but something not, you know, cheap looking, and, and nothing too expensive either, but something that's just right, you know. I'm a guy who likes homemade food, okay, so don't fault me for liking homemade food, okay? I, li I like food when it's made from your family. It shows that you care, you know. Sometimes my cousin, she can make, she can make some delicious food. Oftentimes she doesn't, but most times she does. And when she does, I'm usually the only person who would end up eating that food that she makes. Sakura, do you like sweets? Point taken. Okay, okay, okay. Saigo chan is a girl too. I wonder if I wonder if she secretly ate sweets behind everyone's back. There aren't any scenes like that in the original manga, though. Mm. For a while after that, we discussed together what kind of events would make for an exciting story. And the next day. Sakura looks troubled as she stares at a pure white piece of paper. What's the matter, Sakura? And this is one trick I've learned how to do. When I was a kid. You see, what most people don't know is I started drawing, well, drawing out plans for whatever I feel like working on. But how I did it was through brainstorming. And that's something I need to show you. Brainstorm, if you don't know, is you take one word. Draw it in a circle and make little points around said circle. And it helps you think about what similarities can you come up with for this one word or this idea that you have. From personal experience, from what you know, or how well you can remember it, that's the thing. So with me, like I said, I started, I started writing when I was around 12, 13 years old. Uh, maybe sooner than that. And you have to know what you're going to work on. Even now, as I'm still working on my, um, my book series, I still have to put some thought into what I'm going to work on. And usually whenever I'm whenever I need to go out and just have a moment to myself I will stay at say McDonald's in two hours and all I'm doing is I'm doing one of two, one of two things. I'm A. Eating something or B. I'm writing something. Or I'm doing a little bit of both. Like if I'm not hungry, I'll go get something to eat. I mean, if I'm if I'm hungry, I'll go get something to eat. I'll basically say get something like a burger and a salad, 
after I'm done with the burger and salad, and I bring my, and say I bring my work with me. Um, I would usually take like two hours in writing, say, five or six pages of my book as part of the, as part of the chapter. Like I'm writing a freaking chapter. And for me, if I'm writing a chapter, it's going to take me about two to three hours. Tops. If I have nothing else on my mind, it's like, the idea is like fresh in my head. It's like, it's like this, you know, thunderbolt happening, you know, like, there's a, there's like a storm happening, and I'm writing like there's no tomorrow. Like I said, most people don't know that it's not easy being a writer, and it's not easy being an author, because technically you have to think about what you're going to write, and how you're going to write it. What to write, and how to write it. As the same as being an artist. What to draw and how to draw it. I think that's one thing we as artists tend to forget. It's like ideas don't leave you. You just need to find a certain angle for the idea. Put it down to paper, you know. And usually... We are, our, we are our own worst judges because we think something might look distorted or something like that. It's usually like that, you know. And you already draw the name? Well, that's nice. You always want to do that. I see. Sakura earnestly ponders. Well then, how about going for a little walk? It's probably a bit cool at this time of day. I think it'd be a nice change of pace. I can't lie, I have... I also have the ulterior motive of wanting to go on a walk with Sakura, but I really do think it'd be a nice change of pace for her be able to clear her mind and see everything from a distance from start to finish. And this is why I always take a walk every every now and then. Because sometimes I really do need to just take a walk just to clear my head. Or if I need some time to myself. Or if I just want to really feel the need to go somewhere and just Exhale my ideas. Exhale what's always going on. It's like me whenever I go out, I tend to talk to myself. And most people wonder, why do you talk to yourself? Well, it's not because I can't find anybody interesting to talk to. But you kind of figure your own problems out when you do talk to yourself. When you mumble your ideas out, and you're kind of like working them. It's like the, the one person you're listening to is yourself. And the one person you're talking to is yourself. So therefore, you're helping yourself out. Most people don't realize that. It seems Sakura doesn't want to part with her paper. Oh. Well, how about watching the Samurai Maiden anime again from the start? After that, we don't just watch the anime, but look back on the original comics, too, and debate about them. And the next day... Sakura, I have a little present for you today. I take out a bouquet of flowers I had hidden behind my back to present to Sakura. 
go in many colorful flowers in full bloom. If you breathe in, the scent of summer flowers is enough to make you cough. Pretty painful to pay for, but it's worth it if I could see Sakura's smiling face. Sakura immediately stands up. She brings a vase. She filled with flour. Yeah, she filled with flour. <laughs> she brings a vase. She filled with water. She takes some horticulture scissors in hand, as well as several flowers bunched together. With no hesitation, she cuts the extra leaves off and places them in the vase while considering their arrangement. Suits her perfectly. Sakura, you're amazing. This is really beautiful. Paper arrangements. Flower designs. A little bit of everything, because you're going to deal with paper and whatnot. Kato. Flower arrangement. Japanese flower design, right? Back to Rurani Kenshin again. Wow, I see. Cultural exchange, huh? She might act angry if the main character put a rose in his pocket to act pretentious. Oh, come on, I've seen Rose of Versailles. I don't see nothing wrong with that. If you've never seen Rose of Versailles, I recommend you do. It has one of the strongest female protagonists you will ever watch. And you will never see a much stronger female protagonist than Oscar. Yeah, her name is Oscar. We forget about time as we immerse in disgusting Saigo Chan and the Marines' interactions involving the arts. Here we are. How strange. No matter what I do, nothing romantic is happening between us. Today's the day of Tomoe Shrine's Soma Matsuri, or festival. It's usually so quiet here, but today's lots of carts are set up for the Matsuri. Yakisoba, takyaki, shooting games, yo-yo balloons, and goldfish catching. Lots of people are visiting. And many are dressed up in summer kimono called yukata. It feels like the Japanese summer. This matsuri is done in association with the shopping, with the local shopping district. So it's pretty. So it's a pretty big event. Of course, unlike last time at the Tan, Tanabata matsuri, the representative of the shrine, Priest Shirakawa, is taking control. I see something like this, I'm reminded of the Abom Festival in Yotsukaito. Now, I've only went to the Abom Festival twice during my stay there. One was in Tokyo, the other was in Yotsukaito. And I've always went to the one that was like in Yotsukaito. And it is a great festival. It is, it is a wonderful festival if you've never been there. It is like the celebration of the dead. But it's not like, you know, Halloween. It's not terrible. It's just... You celebrate living. You really do celebrate living. You honor the dead by living. As strange as it sounds, you honor your ancestors by showing how much life you have inside. I think that's how it is. I am not entirely certain. I will probably look it up and probably share, share the link in the description box below. But a bone festival? Oh man. 
I find that like to be the the biggest part of the summer in Japan because the summer fest uh, the Abon festival lasts a whole week. In whatever place you actually live in, in Japan, I'm not sure how many people would be watching this Let's Play in Japan, or this visual novel Let's Play, um, but the Abon Festival, if anybody in, 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 anybody in the comments, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong here, but the Abon Festival is the, is the festival during the summer. It is probably the best festival you can actually have during the summer. Because, like I said, it's a whole, it's one week long. And it's just, it's an experience, I have to say. It's an experience you, it, it's an experience you have to see for yourself. You have to be part of. I met Priest Shirakawa for the, for the first time last night. Seems he, he's been, seems he's been in Hiroshima up until yesterday. I made a lot of the guy, and immediately after talking with him, I could see why he's a friend of my sensei. Sakura, Sakura, Karin, and Aoi are helping out today to show their thanks to him. As for me, they said there's no work for me to do, so I'm left on my own to just to just go enjoy myself at the Matsuri. I don't feel right about being the only one out having fun while everyone else is working. It's the same thing I feel for the guys in the RCO. Most of the guys in the RCO actually work. And the only people that actually don't work are, well, Sheena and myself. I mean, I work sometimes, but not all the times. Mine is more like, when the idea hits me, then I go to work on it. But if it doesn't hit me, it's like, well, that's why I do. Hey, it gives me something to do, okay? Sakura, can I help you? Can I help you with anything? Look at that. I can't read. Sakura, can I help you for anything? Since Sakura doesn't have much strength, her task is to help sell fortunes at the shrine office. Today, the main attraction is the Matsuri. So, there isn't a steady flow of customers. So, you're drawing the manga in your free time? I see the name notebook in Sakura's hands. Makes sense. Sakura is totally captivated by drawing manga. I tried many different things to woo Sakura, but in the end, we always wind up talking about the manga, and I strike out. Kind of frustrating. Do you have a deadline? Comic Pro, short for Comic Promenade. Held twice a year in summer and winter in Seaside, Tokyo. It's Japan's largest event for buying and selling of Doji Nishi. Sakura, you're going to sell at Comic Pro? I didn't know that. For the life of me, I can't draw or shit. I have a few pictures here right beside me that I've actually found and found one night when I was just bored. There's some old pictures. 
and I believe I was like maybe 13, 14 when I did these drawings. I didn't date them, but I did sign them. Then why? Oh, you can never slack off on your work. It's just... Whatever you feel like drawing, that's what you go for. Whatever you feel like writing, that's what you go for. That's what I've learned. That's what I've learned with, um, you know, my line of work. I mean, they'll accept my work no matter what it is, but, you know, it's more like, well, me selling my work. They can distribute it, but I have to be the one selling it. That's how it works. Of course, they get a little off the top, but I I keep most of the, uh, the, the profit. They take 20, I take 80. I think I get what you mean. If you can finish whenever you feel like it, you might drag your feet and take longer and longer it happens. And take longer and longer. It happens. Story of my life and every other artist out there. It's like her size after saying that. Yeah, I bet. Even just watching from the sidelines, I can't help but see Sakura wearing day after day. So I get what she means. これでいいのか、正しいのかと自分を問われている気分になります。そう、いや、アンダーステンダブル。正直苦しくて投げ出したい時もあるのですが、それだけにうまくできたと確信した時は嬉しいんですよね。You sound like somebody I know. Sound like many people that I know, but only two in particular I really know. Yeah, actually, if you compare your manga now to how it started, I think it's gotten better. I can look at my book and say that. I really can. I can look at my um my prototype of how my book was going to turn out to the book I have now. Because what most people don't know is I had I had a prototype book. But I never did release that one because it had a lot of stuff that, you know, I had to cut out. But mind you, when I did it, it was like when I first did my book, it was just straight off the top of my head. Like there were sex scenes in, in, in the first book that I had to cut cut out. Uh, I don't know what else there was. I think that was the only thing. I had a few sex scenes in there, but that's about it. And mind you, long before I started doing Let's Plays, I did a lot of writing. And that meant it was Jay. Erotic, erotic works, fanfics, crossovers, mainly crossovers and whatnot. Um, fanfics, that sort of thing. I still have my, um, I still have some of my works here, but I haven't, I haven't done much of it since. Yes, yes. Mm, mm. What? But all I've been doing is watching you and making flipping comments. Sorry. 
迷惑でしたでしょうか No, 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 that, that's not it. Um, excuse me. A customer's here to buy a fortune. Sakura goes to help me. I wave goodbye and leave the area so I don't get in the way of her work. I just can't convey my feelings to Sakura well. But I guess for a while it's fine just to have fun talking about the manga. Maybe I'm a little too simple minded for thinking this way. Relationships, man. Relationships. What's up? Eh? Good job, you two. When I leave the office, I'm caught by Aoi and Kari. How's work going? She's with a customer right now, but she's, it seems like she's drawing her manga when she's free. You can easily get obsessed with just one thing. I know. All too well, I know. Yeah, Sakura's really trying hard. <laughs> what? What are you two grinning about? Is it that damn obvious? What the? But no, that that what the that that. Am I that easy to read? And to my friend Ryu, he would answer yes. Um, I would have passionate eyes for you, but you're a little too young for me. Uh, I see, I've really been wearing my heart on my sleeve. So obvious, yet Sakura hasn't the slightest idea. This is a problem. Just come on out and say it, huh? Yeah, I've been getting that experience firsthand for a while now. Man, what's the deal with this? It feels like right now Sakura's mind is full of manga. And she won't think about anything else at all. Let's think about this from another angle. If that's the case, I, if I start from talking about the manga, then maybe... Sakura, want to take a break? I peek into the shrine office and call out to Sakura. I asked the head priest, he said once the fireworks display starts, everyone will be watching that. And that's okay, and that it's okay to close up here. Yes, Usujima. Today around a riverbed nearby, there's going to be a big fireworks display. Since Tomei's shrine is a bit elevated, they say you can see the fireworks well. 
according to priest Shirakawa, they go out of the way to make the Matsuri the same day as the flowers. It's really hard to get a spot near the river, so many people come to the Matsuri just to get a view. The fireworks are supposed to be pretty ma amazing. Maybe you can get some inspiration for your manga. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that. Sakura closes up shop and locks the doors. We walk together through the Matsuri. I buy some Ramune soda and cotton candy from a food store as we pass by. The enthusiasm of the Matsuri gets my heart excited. It sure is a huge crowd of people. I wonder if we'll, be, if we'll really be able to see the fireworks. Sakura so brings her face close to mine and whispers in my ear. Her long eyelashes flutter. So beautiful. A passerby crashes into Sakura's shoulder and she loses her balance. I take her hand without thinking. Sakura's hand feels cool to the touch. Fine and smooth. Are you okay? Oh, this way, right? Hi. When I first did this part, my heart was like going doki 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 doki, really, really, really fast, like doki 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 doki. Now, now I'm doing this a second time. It's not as bad, but I can still feel the doki 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 thing happening with my heart, like. Doki. I pull on Sakura's hand. She guides me to a side road by the temple, going towards the hill behind it. This is good to know. Sakura points into the darkness. In the faint moonlight, I can see some rotted stone steps on the ground. It's dark, so watch your step. Relying on my phone's light, we walk into the darkness. The fuss of the Matsuri gets farther and farther. It's so hot. We somehow managed to climb the sudden stone steps despite it being hard to see. And come to a clearing in the forest. When I shine a light, I can see a small wayside shrine. That must be what Sakura meant by the branch shrine. I naturally let go of Sakura's hand and I feel a little regret about it. Maybe we're a little early. Yeah, true, true that. Sakura sits down on the steps. The sound of insects sound louder than the Matsuri back at the shrine grounds. Right now, we're totally alone here. You would really like that, wouldn't you? Kami Pro! I always wanted to go at least once! Here's the yawn. But to be honest, there have been times that I wanted to sell my work at Anime Expo. Since it's probably like the only time I would actually want to sell my work. At the same time that, you know, I'm just there. You know, make some make some money on the side while, you know, I'm actually there, you know, it makes sense. I mean, I'll, I'm gonna be there for like, I'm there for like three days. So it's like, Day one gives me a day to set up. And the other two days, you know. The other two days, you know, people come by and they want to buy some of my work. They can do that. 
of course the thing is it has to really sell but if it doesn't sell then you know not only was it a waste of money but what but not only that but you're just sitting there and you kind of look stupid I mean I've only done that once and I remember my first book signing event was at a was at um, a Christian bookstore and what's funny about it is um, this event happened on the same weekend that they had the Whitney Houston funeral and not that many people came in I mean there was only one person one person who came in and he and he was from the church and he always used to ask me hey Izzy are you ever going to sell your work at um, Comic Con I'm like I don't know about Comic Con and I don't know about Anime Expo. Because to me, the closest place for me is the the convention center, which is downtown L.A. Right next to it is the Staples Center. So, therefore, a few, uh, a few blocks down, Restaurant Road. So, like I said, wouldn't know. And usually, I go to, like, Anime Expo by my lonesome most times. But if somebody is interested in going, well, all I have to do is ask them, hey, would you like to go to such and such? Pay for your way in. I will pay for your way in, but what you had to do is you had to come with me, like, for three days. That's usually the case. Like I said, I wouldn't know. I never tried it. But there's a way you can do it, you know, properly. Because I know it was mentioned to me before, but I never really tried it. I can't come see them when it. How frustrating. Kindred spirit. Yeah, that phrase was... At that moment, the fireworks finally began to sound. High in the sky, the large petals of fireworks bloom like big colorful flowers. The open sky here really does make this the perfect spot. The colors of the fireworks reflect on Sakura's profile as she whispers. She looks magical. Beautiful. I gulp down my spit. S Sakura? Hi. Kindred spirit. Yes, it is as you say. However, what we have here First and foremost, it's but a man and a woman. Before you dream, perhaps you should see me as a man. I somehow managed to speak in this difficult Satsuma dialect spoken in Samurai made without stuttering. I read it again and again, so now I can recite this famous line from Samurai Maiden with my eyes closed. While knowing Saigo-chan's identity, her childhood friend Satsuma, who fought alongside her as a kindred spirit, confessed his, his hidden feelings in this once-in-a-lifetime scene. Sakura should immediately recall what kind of scene this line was used in. So she should realize how I feel. Sakura looks at me with a spaced out expression. Expectation. 
worry, and other various feelings all raced through my brain at once. Sakura recited Saigo-chan's reply word for word without mistake. Sakura gets excited and descends the stone steps on her own. <laughs> I can't help but laugh. I say it so straightforwardly and she still didn't get it. She really can't think about anything but the manga in front of her. But I admit, I like this side of her, so I'm kind of stuck. Yeah, now stop rushing. I'll just have to try hard and proceed bit by bit. Let's just consider that what we just had was a moment of clarity. And I think what I'm going to do is... <laughs> I'm going to stop here. And in the next part, we're going to go through... Well, we're going to speed through the... We are actually going to speak through the intermission and hopefully, hopefully, I don't have to redo this part a second time or a third time. But yeah, that I feel we're done here for this part. So next time, we go to possibly another week. Or another month, depending. And I'll see you with more Tokyo School Life next time.